Yes, you can. My friends, I'm Les Mood, your host. Welcome to the Energy Independence Show, where we cover product reviews, interviews, and hot news in California at the beach. Speaking of California, is California better prepared for the 2020 wildfire season? The short answer is yes, at least as far as it concerns the state's electricity network. California is better prepared than they were last year. As pg e continues our enhanced and extend expanded efforts to reduce wildfire risk, we're also working to reduce the scope, duration, and impact of future PSPS events. A key piece of this strategy is developing and deploying microgrids, said pg e CEO and President Andy Fessy in June. Microgrids will create new flexibility options for utilities during the 2020 wildfire season. With the microgrid in place, a utility can more easily shut down a high-risk power line feeding a community while not adversely impacting residents or critical services. Microgrids also respond almost instantaneously, so customers are unaware of any switch in their power source. According to Microsoft, nine leading businesses launch new initiative to accelerate programs to a net zero future, the progress. The heads of nine companies today announced the establishment of the new initiative to accelerate the transition to a net zero global economy. The initiative known as the Transform to Net Zero intends to develop and deliver research guidance and implementation roadmaps to enable all businesses to achieve net zero emissions. Transform to Net Zero will focus on enabling the business transformation needed to achieve net zero emissions no later than 2050, in addition to driving broader change with a focus on policy, innovation, and finance. According to cleanenergywire.org, potential to implement the Paris Agreement, German reactions to climate aspects of the EU deal, after four days of negotiations, the EU member states have agreed on an unprecedented funding, pack, funding package to cushion the effects of the coronavirus pandemic and secure the bloc's budget until 2027. The 27 governments greenlighted a pandemic recovery program worth 750 billion euros and a general budget of more than 1 trillion euros, with about one third of the expenses being earmarked for climate action measures. According to Fool.com, how Sunrun can become a giant in renewable energy. These are good reasons for the acquisitions lately, which is uh, some of the news you've heard lately to take place. But the biggest reason may be looking years ahead. The biggest change in energy over the next decade may be the introduction of what's called virtual power plants. In general, these work by essentially trying, trying to gather hundreds of thousands or hundreds or thousands of small energy storage systems and bidding them in one big chunk in energy markets like a power plant. The more energy storage systems you control, the more energy you can bid and the more flexible you can be in adapting to the grid's needs. If Sunrun has the most residential solar installations, it should be able to leverage that into adding the most energy storage systems, leading to the largest virtual power plant network in the country. According to cleantechnia.com, Tucson Electric Power makes a dramatic pivot towards renewable energy. The falling cost of solar and wind energy is a big part of the shift in Tucson Electric Power's focus, along with prices for battery storage that are also dropping rapidly. For the last several decades, coal was the primary or most economical resource. It was the lowest cost resource to supply energy for our customers, and it wasn't really close. Coal just isn't the most economical resource now, says Jeff Yaki, TEP's Resource Planning Director. The goal in creating new plan was very much about basically achieving significant emissions reduction as quickly as we can, as cost effectively as we can, says Yaki, adding that his company wanted the biggest cumulative emission cut possible over the next 15 years while maintaining reliable service for its customers. According to BusinessDailyAfrica.com, Kenjin eyes floating solar power plants in three hydropower dams. State-owned Kenya's electricity-generating company, Kenjin, is mulling a floating solar energy installation in three of its key hydropower dams, which experts say is a cheaper option for renewable energy than land-based solar farms. Multi-consult vice president in charge of energy systems, Ryan Anderson, had this to say in a statement, we believe that the future 
of power systems in many African countries will rely on low cost, variable renewables, working together with reliable and flexible hydro power reservoirs. And that's it for the hot energy news. The revolution is here. Thank you for joining us. We will see you soon. Feel free to like, comment, and share.